Hello everyone, so I decided I wanted to take a break from all the difficult locks for a bit. And so what I got was so oh, sorry, what I got was some locks to make fun of. Um, I'm sure we'll take this one first anyway. Uh, this will be the one that we'll have a look at today. So this one's just just says on there, Total Fitness Health Clubs. <laughs> so this is what it says in the box, yeah? So, Total Fitness Health Clubs. Now, I suspect that this, there is a, I think, a brand of a gym or something uh, around me where they're, it's called Total Fitness. Now, I suspect that these padlocks were originally bought for those um, the vending machines maybe inside the gym and then yeah they obviously weren't they had a surplus of them so they decided to sell them maybe they weren't selling them or whatever but whatever that's my two cents on this Total Fitness branding on it could be wrong so uh, yeah there was, a, there was a pink one and there's this blue one obviously I'm not going to get a pink one because I don't like pink but uh Got the blue one here, that's pretty cool looking. And of course you can see there it says Total Fitness. No, no tri-circle or any of that stuff and then it has these keys. Like this, got a bit of a good bidding there. And again it says Total Fitness and you get three keys, whatever. So I want to see how many ways we can open this thing. Don't really have to turn the keyway much to get it to snap open. Good snap on the shackle, so that's always nice. <sighs> okay, let's have a look and see what it takes to pick it first, since that's the main objective. But uh, I have to find a tensioner that will be suitable. So, I mean, let's just try the bottom of the keyway, this thin one. And I suspect it's just an iron padlock. It'll do. An iron padlock that's painted. Painted. Painted blue. Now, need to get a, a hook pick. So yeah, I'm going to take this hook pick here, it's a very shallow one, because it's a small padlock I'm going to use the small hook, so let's see, let's put a bit of tension on there, doesn't really turn in both ways does it, don't think you can, no, okay, so it doesn't turn to the right. It does actually look like there's a lip on there, so we might not be able to shim this core. It's always a good thing. Alright, let's see what I can do here. Never picked this thing before. So, I expect some sloppy tolerances though. So, let's see. One, two, three. One's loose, two's loose. Make sure we have enough tension actually. So I'm going to turn the core until it stops moving. And I'm going to try and hold that. So one, two, three. Two, click on two. Four. There we go. Easy enough. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. So that was opened. Oh, and by the way, yeah, let's have a look here. You might be able to make, just about make out some scratches. Let's see here. Just a 
about there. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus on the scratches. Yeah, you can just about make some scratches out there. And that is from a pair of scissors. So if a pair of scissors is going to be able to cut through this shackle, we know it's not hardened, but it doesn't say hardened. Just so we know that be pretty funny. So now for the fun part, let's see how many ways we can pick this thing open. Um, so we picked it with the hook. Let's close it up. We shall pick it with a with this small padlock rake. That's what I like to use it for on small keyways. Considering we had a fairly decent fitting, I think that this should not work. And so far, it's not working. But to try and kind of wiggle it around like this first, maybe bounce the tensioner a little bit, make sure the camera is focused properly. Come on. Zoom out. All right. So it should be okay. So it's not really it's not really raking easily, but that could be because of our bidding. So maybe. However. Could just be we have the wrong rake. Just try. I reckon I can get this to work. So I'll try push the pins down like that and then rake them out of the set position. Now I think the hardest way to get into this would be to uh, try and overlift, try and overlift a lock, overlift all the pins and then slowly let them drop down, it's not easy. So let's see here, take this rake, it doubles as a hook. Hmm. Have a look. Mm -hmm. What we might try is the snake rake. That's always a, it's a common enough rake. Let's try that. Come on, don't slip. I think we should be able to be successful with this. Definitely feels like we're binding some pins up or something. Hmm. That core doesn't really look like a brass core, but it could just be freaking mucky. That's why it's hard to tell. Yeah, so I think I think with that bitting we are somewhat protected against raking, but we are not finished raking yet. Because as you might or not, might not know, we have plenty of options. So we shall try our options until we don't get any. Ah, well the Bogota raked it, no problem. So, good old Bogota, huh? Kicking ass. Alright, no problem. Um, so, we can rake it open. Not going to go through every single rake I have. 
we just care about an open and we've got an open. Next up is well, City Rake and Rocking. So, I need to figure out where I put my City Rake. There it is. Okay. So we have our Dino City Rake here. And the padlock is locked. And then put the City Rake in there. And since it's a Give it this little handshake, like that, and try and slowly pull the pick out as you bring it in and out of the lock. Start bouncing the tensioner. Another technique I think will work very well with the city rake. So I don't, we're not finished yet, we're just going to get a different pick and we will take a just a hook pick because sometimes rocking a lock open can be done with a hook. So I'll put a hook in there and just rock it like this. Mm -hmm. But we're not getting too far with this, unfortunately. Let's try flipping it around. Let's try a slightly thinner pick, because maybe it's just the thickness of the pick that's causing some problems. So we take our thin one here. Oops. Careful now, I don't want to bend this thing. Yeah, not really getting anywhere with rocking. So we have zipping. So I'll look for the small diamond. You can use a pick, a hook pick as well, but I'll just have the I have the the diamond small one. So uh, this one I use on a padlock. So hold on a second, let's just make sure this is still operating. Yeah, it still operates. Good. Yeah, because that zip that uh, springiness to the core tend felt like it went away there. So Sure the camera is focused. Doo, 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 doo. Now the camera is focused and zip. Zip. Give it a couple of zips. Reset. Nothing. Because we have four pins, I'll give it four goes. And I'll reset. Try one more time. Okay, so no luck there. Doesn't matter, we picked it open a couple times. So, established that there's no security pins in this turtle fitness. Is. Yeah, the shackle is not hardened. Another attack I can think of off the top of my head would of course be two of these, one on each side, and you can I think you could break this stupid body. But I don't want to do that, but it's not a nice thing to do. Besides, we have to try other things. Let's just make sure there's this core is actually shielded. 
Yeah, it's shielded all right. Now, on to the next thing. Let's test it to see. Can we bypass it? Because it's supposed to be locking on both sides, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be locking on both sides, which is not necessarily true. So we put our knife tool in there. This one is just one I made out of the spring steel. And I want to pull this across. There we go. So you can bypass it. No problem. <coughs> now, so bypassing like that is no problem. We have comb picks. Let's see if our comb pick will get this. So we do have a four pinner. So we just have to find a four pin comb pick. Do I even have one? I think so, yeah. Thought I would have one of these. Oh well, we have the sparrows once, so whatever. So, should be the right one. And it should be, yeah. Uh, put that in there if we can. Hmm, it's a little bit tight. Maybe, maybe we can use this side, although I don't really want to. Okay, so it's a bit awkward to get in there. I don't think it's impossible, but I think it'll get stuck if I try and get that in there. Maybe if it was thinner, it would work. So, let's just get because of those tolerances over there we'll get a shim padlock shims and of course I think we only need to insert one on yeah <laughs> insert one on one side and that's exactly what you need to do so just wiggle it like that and it's open doesn't seem like a lock I would trust with my gym equipment because normally you put you put uh, your phone and your belongings that could be more valuable than this thing inside there so yeah I think that sums it up really it's just a cheap padlock and not going to really protect anything, especially when it comes to bolt cutters, saws, prying attacks, and so on. At least it's not. At least it's not uh, shimmable from the core. Other than that, that's all that we've got to say about this. Really nice little padlock, though. I still like its color and the silver plate on there. I think it's still cool looking. I like it. But I wouldn't use it though. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's a total fitness padlock. Don't use these.